Corruption undermines development and exacerbates inequalities. As a result, hospitals lack equipment, schools are not built, and natural resources are depleted. To address these challenges, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the UN Convention Against Corruption, UNCAC, that entered into force in 2005. Today, it has 189 states' parties and is the only internationally binding legal instrument against corruption. The importance of civil society in promoting UNCAC is recognised by Article 13, which encourages states' parties to promote the active participation of civil society in the prevention and the fight against corruption. Civil society organisations are the eyes and the ears of society and can contribute to, as well as monitor, the efforts of their governments in implementing UNCAC. In 2017, with the support of the UK Prosperity Fund, UNODC launched an anti-corruption initiative with the objective of fast-tracking UNCAC implementation through four regional platforms – Eastern Africa, South America and Mexico, Southeast Asia and Southern Africa. The project was launched through conferences in each of the four regions, where governments and civil society, including private sector entities from 37 states' parties, jointly adopted recommendations to implement anti-corruption priorities. Following the regional conferences, UNODC facilitated civil society roundtables to form and solidify both national and regional networks, focusing on progress on anti-corruption priorities in Tanzania, Thailand, Ethiopia, the Philippines, Ecuador and South Africa. As a result, civil society organisations have contributed to policy interventions, raised awareness on anti-corruption priorities, brought ground-level voices to international discussions and spearheaded corruption monitoring and reporting initiatives. Key successes include Transparency International Zambia has been driving the creation of whistleblower protection initiatives across the nation and has founded an advocacy and legal advice centre which provides anonymous reporting channels that help protect whistleblowers of corruption. In Myanmar, Spectrum will be raising awareness on the role of the 4,000 staffed Auditor General's Office. Its advocacy intends to help create a stronger demand for accountability and transparency of the Auditor General Office's audits, which have historically gone unpublished or have been difficult for the general public to access. In Argentina, Fundación Poder Ciudadano created the COVID-19 Public Procurement Observatory which monitors and publishes the financial transactions of national public institutions, thus resolving the lack of transparency on public expenditure related to the pandemic. In Uganda, Africa Freedom of Information Centre held workshops for the private sector on how to submit requests for access to information to Uganda's anti-corruption body, the Inspectorate of Government. Subsequent to the workshops, a memorandum of understanding was signed to conduct future requests to access information on behalf of the Kampala City Traders Association. Through the Fast Tracking project, as of 2020, 121 civil society organisations have benefited from the project's conferences and trainings. 13 civil society organisations have been awarded grants and are actively implementing anti-corruption initiatives and nine memorandums of understanding have been signed between civil society organisations and their governments following the trainings. Building on this momentum, UNODC will continue to empower civil society to drive the implementation of anti-corruption priorities through the regional platforms. We strongly encourage the involvement of more civil society actors in these initiatives and invite interested parties to visit our website, Find us on social media, hashtag United Against Corruption, or contact us at unodc ngo unit at un.org.